we actually want to take all kinds of food issues and put them into the policy priorities of the next president because food is not a minor issue. Food has to do with the well-being and the health of the entire population. As an animal science major and active FFA member at WB Saw High School, ethical and sustainable agriculture is important to me and my classmates. When visiting Hillary Clinton's official campaign website, there are a number of presidential commitments she has promised that directly impacts livestock treatment and farming. Of priority, Mrs. Clinton's website commits to protect farm animals from inhumane treatment. Unfortunately, I don't think that the government or the governmental bodies are doing enough to regulate or prevent the abuse. I think what we're seeing a lot of the time is that these big corporations are the ones that are, again, writing the policies in states and on a federal level. It is important that the government supports and regulates farming practice. However, it is often unclear why some agricultural practices are considered controversial, particularly when talking about GMOs, the use of hormones, and the unfair and inhumane treatment of livestock. Let's begin by clarifying what GMOs are, why hormones are used, and an example of treating livestock inhumanely. A very simple description of GMOs is that they are a set of technologies that allow us to manipulate uh, heredity in all kinds of organisms at the gene level. In, in livestock production, hormones are used to increase the conversion of feed into meat and so you accelerate the growth of the livestock over what would occur naturally. Uh, the reason is that you make greater profit the more efficiently you convert the grain rations. It would be better for, for our public health and for environmental health if we were to you know, ban the non-therapeutic use of antibiotics and phase out factory farming. Another way of saying that is that many of these animals actually suffered. One of the best examples of that was when uh, bovine growth hormone, a specific version of it, was used to increase dairy production. And it just led to all kinds of health problems uh, for the dairy cows. And so, no, there's a larger ethical question that has to do with animal well-being. So there's a lot of hormones that have been used in meats and like it makes everyone afraid to eat some of these meat products that are out there. And so uh, there actually is a big effort now to change that, not to make it, people are wanting to know what's in their meat. There is oftentimes a direct correlation between the use of hormones to livestock cruelty as well as public health and the environment. Practices that are used, including the overuse of non-therapeutic antibiotics, is actually um, having big impacts on consumers' health. It's actually really impacting our water systems and our air. We're seeing really high toxicity in areas that are neighboring factory farms. As citizens of the United States, it is our jobs to make sure that Clinton, if elected, stays true to her word, which is to protect farm animals from inhumane treatment by encouraging farms to raise animals humanely and working to eliminate the use of antibiotics in farm animals for non-therapeutic reasons. This is Victoria Thornton at WB Saw and an active FFA member.